Hey friends, and welcome to this week's super exciting video. I don't think anyone is as excited as I am to have this dining room reveal out for you. I've been waiting a very, very long time, almost an entire year. We only had our walnut table, six chairs, and that's it, literally that was it in this room for months and months and months now. I had this vision of what I wanted for this space and everything has come to fruition so, so beautifully. I love being in here. I cannot wait to share all of the gorgeous furniture. You guys know we're huge fans of Article. We have tons of articles in our home already and I'm so happy to say that they blessed us with all of this beautiful furniture and I cannot wait to share it with you. And of course, I'm happy to say we finally have our planter box insert so I'm going to be sharing that with you as well. It's night and day of Cinderella. Take out tonsils, put in tubes, and <laughs> now do the face parts. <laughs> One of my favorite features in the dining area are these beams that they put in. Not the salmon color, but I think we're gonna paint them black because the rest of the house is gonna be very white and light, and it has all these beautiful brass features that I love, so I think the black would kind of make it pop. Um, our plan is to, we originally wanted to tear this wall down, but it would open up a whole can of worms, so we're just gonna open this and leave it a, a larger cased opening to get more of a airy feel into the Eden kitchen. Um, the flooring is over here. This is what we chose. It's a French white oak, engineered hardwood, and we love it. Oh, your knees. <laughs> so it's really pretty, and it's just going to give us a you know a really nice light, airy feeling in here. So just to recap, basically what we did was we took Benjamin Moore Chantilly white paint or Chantilly lace white paint. We gave the entire room about three coats of white paint and then I went ahead and painted all of these header beams or just, they're not really like, they're not structural, they're just decorative purely. But we painted those white as well instead of the black. Uh, my friend had kind of told me that she felt if I painted them black it would feel kind of oppressive and I completely agreed with her and I'm really glad we went with the white paint on the beams as well of course, John flossing. Um, I really like looking back at these older memories to see how little the girls were and how helpful Lenny was. It's pretty cool. But if you guys are new here, my name is Denise. My husband, John, and I bought this house. We closed on it and started working on it last April and we moved in last June. So it's been almost an entire year and we have renovated this house from top to bottom, literally ceiling to floor. So if you like home renovations and extreme transformations and cleaning videos and things like that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button this is a great channel for you and now I'm showing you what the room looked like before the flooring went in and we also painted the brick on the fireplace uh, the same white so let's get to the transformation part <laughs> So I started up by cleaning up the table and the chairs and John took these down to the basement because we do absolutely love this table. A lot of you guys might remember we had this made a couple of years ago, but we got the opportunity to get a larger table that can seat eight to 12 almost. So I didn't want to turn that opportunity down since our family has grown significantly and then we just are running out of space for everybody to sit at. So we did decide we want to obviously keep this table and just move it downstairs for a game and entertainment table in the basement.
first I'm just gonna go through now that it's completely empty and just give this room a nice deep clean and prep it for all of the furniture that I'm going to be putting in here. So like I said, Article was amazing and they donated this beautiful furniture for my video because they know that I just love and live by their product. Article makes it so easy to attain a beautiful modern living space and right now home is a really important place to be. So Article offers high quality furniture at a great price and it's designed to last and I can attest to that because we've had our couch for almost three years now. We've got a couple of chairs. Well, I basically all of our furniture is from Article so I won't go over all of it but I can definitely attest to the fact that it is designed to last. All of my pieces still look brand new but lived in and comfortable and I love them. You can still shop Article online and they're shipping with contactless delivery right now to ensure everyone stays safe. In stock items deliver fast with estimated times on each product page. Surgeries by morning, baseboards by evening. I tell you, it never stops. Wow. Baby's crying, screaming. I assume this is, this is what your voiceover voice are like. <laughs> it's just like going on. <laughs> Night and day, Cinderella. Take out tonsils, put in tubes. <laughs> now do the baseboards. <laughs> Keep them busy. <laughs> Are you are you trying to open that? Are you gonna open that box? To go around it. So I'm super excited to open this one. This is the Fantol storage shelf in oak. I am trying to incorporate more light oak furniture. I have a lot of walnut pieces and the house has a lot of walnut in it because it was very indicative to mid-century, um, the mid-century time period. But as much as I love walnut, I love a lighter oak even more. So Instead of trying to make everything work in this space, it's mid-century, I figure why not mix and match the things you love? There's nothing wrong with having more of an eclectic style and blending different wood tones and things like that. So life short, get the stuff you want. So right now we're putting together this Fantol Oak storage shelf by Article. I had my eye on this for a while. I just thought it was one of the most beautiful statement shelf pieces that I have ever seen. It has two push to open drawers, a spacious cabinet, and three levels of shelving that provide ample storage space. And I had a lot of fun kind of styling them. I'm not the best at it, and I'm sure it's gonna take me a little while to get it just right, but I am really happy with the way it turned out. And I love the fact that they've got like um, a cabinet cord cut out in the back. You can kind of see it right there behind me and Oliver. And I, we can also, and what we already did, we just wanted to find the right place for it, was secure this with uh, brackets up at the top so that there's no risk of it falling over and hurting anybody, of course. So we're super, super happy with this piece. And I really feel that it kind of... Um, it defines the space with the table because we have such an open concept I thought that this would really anchor the dining room and it truly did which of course I'm happy with um, and then right now we're unboxing the Sino Oak dining table and we got the extendable version like I said our family has grown and so when when we have people come visit from out of town or have friends over we were really really lacking in space so I love the fact that I can add these two leaves to the end of the table and it's so stunning it's so beautiful this is constructed of solid American white oak and you can seat up to 10 or 12 and the extendable rails are really cool they kind of tuck beneath either end and make it really easy to add or remove the leaves as opposed to the traditional kind of center leaf and I really wanted to go for the more eclectic two-tone chair. So we chose two of these. These are the Kissa Canyon Tan Light Oak Dining Chair. I love the solid white oak legs and the leather seat is so, so buttery soft and ergonomically, like it's incredibly comfortable. I wish I would have gotten these for the entire table.
So I really like the base of these Kissa chairs as well because they have this really pretty powder coated metal brace and the foam padded seat like I said makes it extremely comfortable to sit in. I think the only reason I didn't get them for the entire table is because oh, well, kids in leather aren't the best match but it wasn't reason enough for me not to get a couple of them because I love them so much. So these are the Russ black dining chairs. I love the Scandinavian feel to these chairs and that they're just super simple and modern, but with that little bit of a twist with that spindled backrest, I thought they were so pretty, but also incredibly functional for four young children. All I need to do is spot clean with a clean damp cloth and everything comes up beautifully and I don't have to worry about replacing these chairs anytime soon. Okay, so I brought this bench in. It was in our bedroom, but because we don't have a master closet yet, we have a huge like standing clothes organizer in our bedroom, so we had to get this out of there. There was no room for it. So I don't know if this is quite the right bench for the space, but I do like the idea of the additional cozy seating when we're all kind of meeting together in here. Um, so I'm only bringing this out here to see how it functions for the next while i guess and if we really like it i might find something that fits the aesthetic of the rest of the furniture a little bit better but um i like kind of how it fills this space i'm also going to be putting some pictures up here a standing plant no room in my house is complete without a bunch of plants but um i think it'll be really nice once we get everything styled so let's find out you feel I don't even know if this is real how can you like me you're as close to perfect as anyone can be you and me you and me we don't need no one else than each other you and me you and me so now I'm taking my trusty black matte spray paint and I'm spray painting these things that I got off Etsy. This here is a little clay bowl and the other one is an origami vase. My neutral heart ordered these not thinking that I really needed more contrast on the shelf. So I just took some black spray paint and I painted like the bottom half of this bowl and then the entire um, vase. And they actually look really, really good on the shelf now. So you guys will see that a bit later.
you guys. I'm so excited. Our planter boxes have been fabricated. Wow, that was, did that crack your windshield? Yep. No, it was already cracked. Look at that. So now we got some flat enamel spray paint. We chose to have them just made and prepped and ready to paint, so we're gonna paint them. Wow, they're really great. So we started by just degreasing with some Dawn dish soap and hot water and a microfiber cloth. That way any sort of, um, you know, greasy substance from having them fabricated would come, you know, come right up and then I could spray paint and that would adhere just beautifully. So I only spray painted the tops that we're going to be showing really, really like really well. And then the inside, I just gave a quick one or maybe two coats of paint. So I did end up having to spray these in the basement. It was super cold outside and the paint would not have cured properly, which would have held this project up another week or two. So I opened up all the windows for ventilation and it worked out fine. If you've been around a while, then you're probably pretty familiar that our planter boxes have looked like this since we moved in. Just like any flat surface in your house that becomes a catch-all, these planter boxes are the worst. This is the third time I've cleaned them out and I probably should have cleaned them out many, many more times, but this just kept happening. And now it's really cool to have actual plants in here because sometimes I catch myself turning around to throw some junk in it and I can't, so it's, it's such a blessing.
they have multiple pieces. If you gently break them apart like this, I can just plant that like this and it will grow on its own. So, and the reason I'm choosing snake plants is one, if you've missed my videos, I want a linear look and I don't want it to look all messy. Um, they're also really, really, really low maintenance and I don't need to water them a ton so the water is not going to bog down the planter boxes over time um, or at least not as long, not as quickly as it would if I were to use some other plants. And I love the look of snake plants in boxes like this. So let's do it. still really wanted a place to display my girls artwork and I love these frames they make this place look stylish and modern but it makes such a great space for their artwork and then they can be proud to see their paintings and their drawings in such a beautiful space. of my clips were either stills or music voiceovers. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, so Ellis calmed down just, just a little bit. Um, but what I was trying to say without all of the screaming is, um, it was such a happy accident, adding the leaves on and turning the table like this. It was really purely just supposed to be for like, oh, if we have a lot of family over, we can turn the table. But it turns out it looks so good like this and it actually functions really well. There's plenty of space for it and we're gonna leave it like this. I love it. And now you can actually see the furniture. But um, you guys know we're huge fans of Article. Most of our furniture is from there. We love the modern aesthetic and the affordability of it. And I just really, really appreciate them um, partnering with me for this video. Like I can't tell you how blessed and how thankful I am for it. I got the dining room of my dreams for this house and I, I love sitting in here every day. And now that it's all pulled together, it's like my house feels very much like complete or that it's just all like pulling together. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it brought you a little bit of inspiration and now you guys are gonna be able to see me cleaning a real dining room from here on out. But I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.